Imagine a world where giants roamed the earth, towering over landscapes with unparalleled strength and stature. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the truth behind the existence of giant humans who once walked among us. Throughout history, cultures around the world have shared tales of giants, beings of immense size and power. From Greek mythology to Native American folklore, these stories have captivated our imagination for centuries. But are these legends merely myths, or is there evidence to support the existence of giant humans? Archaeological discoveries from across the globe suggest that there may be more to these stories than meets the eye. For more details, let's discuss. Adam Rayner was an Austrian man who is notable for being the only person in recorded history to have been both a dwarf and a giant. He was born in 1899 in Austria-Hungary, now Italy, with normal proportions, but by the age of 18, he had only reached a height of about 4 feet 6 inches, 137 centimeters, qualifying him as a dwarf. However, Rayner's growth did not stop there. In his late teens and early 20s, he experienced a sudden and remarkable growth spurt. By the time he was in his early 30s, he had surpassed the height of 7 feet 8 inches, 234 centimeters, making him a giant according to medical standards. This extreme change in height was due to a rare medical condition known as acromegaly, which results from an overproduction of growth hormone in the pituitary gland, typically caused by a tumor. Acromegaly can lead to abnormal growth of bones and tissues, resulting in gigantism if it occurs before the closure of the growth plates. Adam Rayner's case is particularly remarkable because he experienced both extremes of height within his lifetime. He died in 1950 at the age of 51. His unique medical condition and extraordinary height variation have made him a subject of interest among medical professionals and historians. Fyodor Maknov was born in Belarus in June 1878. He began to grow very quickly when he was 14 years old, reaching a height of 2 meters. With his rapid growth, his parents had to make clothes, shoes, and bedding specially made to fit his size. His shoes reached the waist of normal-sized people, and children often hid in his boots when playing hide-and-seek. Fyodor joined the circus when he was 14 years old and began performing when he was 16. Many sources say he varied in height, but he grew into adulthood with a maximum height of about 2.5 meters. Scientists often met with Fyodor to ask for a contract for the ownership of his body when he died, but Fyodor always refused all the scientists' offers for fear that he would later be killed by them. He later married Efrasinja Lebedeva who was one meter tall, twice as short as him. Their marriage gave them a girl and three boys. With his size, far above normal humans in general, Fyodor has a big appetite. Every day he ate a breakfast consisting of 20 eggs, 8 loaves of bread, and 2 liters of tea. For lunch he consumed 1 kilogram of potatoes, 2.5 kilograms of meat, and 3 liters of beer. For dinner, he ate a loaf of bread, 15 eggs, and 1 liter of milk. Fyodor died in 1912 when he was 34 years old. Anna Haining Bates, also known as Anna Swan, was a Canadian woman who gained fame in the late 19th century due to her extraordinary height. She was born on August 6, 1846, in Nova Scotia, Canada, and she grew to be exceptionally tall, reaching a height of over 7 feet 11 inches, about 241 centimeters. Anna's remarkable stature was attributed to a condition known as gigantism, caused by an overproduction of growth hormone during childhood and adolescence. Anna gained international attention for her height and toured with circuses and sideshows as an attraction. In 1871, she married Martin Van Buren Bates, a fellow giant who stood over 7 feet 9 inches tall, about 236 centimeters. Their wedding was widely covered by the media and attracted significant public interest. The couple toured together, showcasing their remarkable heights and participating in various exhibitions and performances. They eventually settled in Ohio, where they lived on a farm and raised a family. Anna Haining Bates passed away on August 5, 1888, at the age of 41, just one day before her 42nd birthday.
Despite her relatively short life, she left a lasting legacy as one of the tallest women in recorded history, and her story continues to fascinate people interested in human biology and extraordinary individuals. Joseph Edouard Beaupre, often known simply as Edouard Beaupre, was a Canadian man who gained fame in the late 19th and early 20th centuries due to his extraordinary height and strength. He was born on January 9, 1881, in Willowbunch, Saskatchewan, Canada. Beaupre grew to an astounding height, reaching over 8 feet 3 inches, about 251 centimeters, tall, making him one of the tallest men in recorded history. His remarkable stature was attributed to a condition known as gigantism, caused by an overproduction of growth hormone during childhood and adolescence. Due to his immense size, Beaupre toured with circuses and sideshows as an attraction. He was billed as the Willow Bunch Giant, or the Giant of the Prairies, and drew large crowds wherever he went. Beaupre was known for his gentle nature and was often described as a kind-hearted and amiable individual. Despite his fame and popularity, Beaupre's life was marked by tragedy and hardship. He faced various health issues related to his size, including difficulty walking and managing his immense weight. Additionally, he experienced exploitation and financial difficulties, as was common for individuals with unusual physical characteristics who were exhibited for public entertainment during that era. Joseph Edouard Beaupre passed away on July 3, 1904, at the age of 23, due to complications from a lung infection. Despite his relatively short life, he left a lasting legacy as one of the tallest and most remarkable individuals in history. Chang Yu Sing, also known as Chang Wu Gao, was a Chinese man who gained fame in the 19th century due to his remarkable height. Born in Fuzhou, Fujian Province, China, in 1841, Chang Yu Sing stood at over 7 feet 8 inches about 234 centimeters, tall, making him a prominent figure in exhibitions and sideshows of his time. Chang Yu Sing embarked on tours across Europe and North America, where he was billed as the Chinese giant, or the Chinese giant Chang. Audiences were captivated by his towering stature, and he became a popular attraction wherever he went. In addition to his impressive height, Chang Yu Sing also possessed considerable strength, which further added to his appeal as a spectacle. He toured extensively, showcasing his size and strength to audiences eager to witness such extraordinary feats. Chang Yu Sing's life, like many individuals with unusual physical characteristics who were exhibited during that era, was marked by both fame and exploitation. Despite the challenges he faced, he remains remembered as one of the tallest men in recorded history and an iconic figure of the 19th century sideshow circuit. While there is no solid evidence to suggest that giants, in the literal sense, ever existed, the fascination with these colossal figures continues to captivate our imagination. This video provides an overview of the legends of giant humans who once lived on Earth. Like, share, and subscribe for more explorations into the mysteries of our ancient past. Until next time, keep questioning, keep seeking, and keep dreaming of giants.